Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Mujahid and in this video I'll be sharing the basic overview of Microsoft Azure. As we all know, Microsoft Azure is a, a cloud platform offered by Microsoft, right? So let's start with the basic definition, uh, right? So Microsoft Azure is the public cloud computing platform by Microsoft, which offers software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So yes. If you are working on Microsoft Azure or maybe you're planning to start your journey with Microsoft Azure. So yes, you can use the SaaS services, you can deploy a platform as a service or you can deploy infrastructure as a service on Azure platform, right? So it comprises more than 600 cloud services and supports varied operating system databases and developer tools right so it is not just limited to infrastructure as a service right or you can say virtual machine databases right even you know you can you can deploy any ml services you can use any ai services you can use as your devops right so as you can see microsoft is having more than 600 cloud services right so it's a combination of infrastructure as a service and PaaS services or SaaS services, right? So now let's discuss the features of Microsoft Azure one by one. First is obviously lower cost. See, whenever we will talk about the cloud computing, then obviously these particular features will come, uh, you know, as an advantage, right? Because the moment you think about cloud computing or maybe about Microsoft Azure, then when you're going to compare between cloud computing and on-prem, uh, you know, services which you have been using. So obviously there will be a, uh, there will be a very uh, lower cost because on on-premises, you have to put a lot of efforts. You have to put a lot of money just to build one data center. And, and again, you know, just for the management, security and everything, you have to put a lot of efforts and a lot of manpower or money right but when we talk about cloud computing or microsoft azure then your cost will be minimized right because you don't have to purchase any new infrastructure any new memory any new cpu or anything else you can just uh, just take the you can just use the services offered by microsoft and whenever you feel like no i don't need these services anymore you can delete these services anytime as per your requirements. So obviously you will pay only the amount which you have used, right? So obviously features of Microsoft Azure is a lower cost, right? Because you are paying very less cost as compared to uh, the data center, you know, you have been managing on your on-prem, right? Second one, we are having higher security. So obviously, again, let's just compare on-prem DC and uh, your uh, Microsoft Azure or maybe cloud computing. So if you manage everything, uh, uh, if you manage everything on your on-prem DC, so you have to you have to provide physical security. You have to provide logical security. You have to keep one complete team, right, just to take care of the security, just for the monitoring part right but when we talk about the azure security then it is much higher than the on-prem the reason is because uh that the team of professional is uh, taking care of your infrastructure they have been monitoring your infrastructure 24 into 7 in 365 days right uh so it is uh, the security is very higher than your on-prem in terms of logical and in terms of physical security as well the next one increased productivity so obviously if you have decided to move on to the cloud right so obviously your productivity will be increased because let's take one more example if if you are any manufacturing company or any traveling company so like that is uh, that is your core business right just to focus on your uh, manufacturing business on on your uh, let's say any insurance business so these IT work, if you are managing your own DC, if you're managing your own data center at your own premises, then you must be, you must have one team just to dedicate it for this operation, right? So if you, if you, if you move on to the cloud, then you can minimize this thing. You can completely remove these headaches, right? Because uh, let's suppose if you, if you're, if you are managing, if you are keeping the team of 15 or 20 people just to manage your private cloud. Now, if you have decided to move on to the cloud and next to next, you would need 
two or three people just to manage your uh, your cloud right just to manage your infrastructure which is running on the public cloud right so obviously if you if you are using microsoft azure then you can completely focus on your core business right you can just delegate your work you can just uh, you can just uh, remove the complete it headache from your company so that you can you can just focus on your core business right so obviously if you focus on your core business then your productivity will be increased then we are having global scale so obviously let's take again that uh, that uh, previous example if you are managing your own dc then you know you have to you have to take the backup at that location only but if you are moving to the cloud if you are using microsoft azure then we are having more than 50 had 58 regions worldwide right that is your choice where you want to deploy your data where you want to take your backups right so it is completely customizable right so if if you if there is any outage in one particular dc or any kind of disaster in one particular data center so you can take the backup from any another dc so that's the biggest advantage of using microsoft azure because we are having 58 regions more than any other cloud provider right but that was just the basic features of microsoft azure right so that's it for now but uh, before leaving make sure you subscribe the channel and like the video and make sure you put a comment on a topic uh, on which uh, I need to create my next video. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.